<laughs> That's what I told you in the beginning. <laughs> you want cookies that smell like hamburgers that are made of milk and look like cheese. <laughs> hmm. Well, that would be ideal, but I can adapt. Adapt to what? Adapt to whom? If... If... Um, if it makes me feel good, I can adapt. If it makes me feel good enough. A lot of things can make you feel good. If a man... Mm -hmm. ...makes me feel good enough, I can adapt. The only speed you're not matching is to speed of your desires. You're running after things, but you're just running after you. The only frequency you need to match is your own. You're wishing for so many things and not giving yourself enough time to achieve them or realize them. So, at the end of the day, it is only you trying to keep up with you. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> you want someone that will figure you out, but once you open the presence, it is opened. Yeah. So, perhaps you need someone that will spend more time opening up the ribbons and then unwrapping. But somehow, somewhere, the only way to get that is to have a ribbon that never ends. But again, you will have to have someone with enough patience to keep opening and opening and opening the infinite and terminable ribbon. <laughs> Unless they enjoy it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so again, all you need to do is find someone who enjoys you as you are. <laughs> oh my god, Cass. <laughs> you need to model that shit <laughs> and sell it. <laughs> That's like gold. <laughs> if I have gold, why would I sell it for money? <laughs> That's right. Maybe you like the sound of money and the way it holds in your hand. <laughs> if I did, I wouldn't have gold, would I? Yes. Because I would be holding so much money, I would have no space for gold. You can do both. Yes, imaginary paper against metal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what do you want, Cass? Are you so complicated too, woman? If I wasn't complicated enough, I wouldn't be able to see life so simply. <laughs> I am what they call a fool for a day, a wise for a week. <laughs> Have you ever been in love? I didn't love you enough. I don't think I would see any interest of keeping up with you and 
if I didn't love myself enough, I wouldn't be here telling this. I would be doing something else. So I am still in love in a way. <laughs> nice. I also love the others that are not saying a word, but they're around. Oh my God! Your that poet came true. <laughs> uh, came, uh, yeah, true. Wow, that's so nice, Kaz. It's beautiful. It was so beautiful, Kaz, that I simply didn't want to interfere at all. <laughs> <laughs> that was beautiful. Always nice to hear from you. You know. It's simple in this world as it is in this here and now. Should I say in this density, to simply be the fool instead of having everyone trying to keep up with you. It becomes <laughs> troublesome if you know what I mean. Yeah. Keeping up with yourself. So it is better off sometimes to throw it off and just allow them to see you as whatever they want you to be. Yeah. Disagreeing. Yes. In order, in order to be around. I don't feel good when I do that. Then don't do it. It's like you also get to get more perspectives. If you notice, nobody cares what a bum does what a jester, what a buffoon, what a clown does. They can go anywhere and do anything and no one will care. It could be a very important place, a very secure place and a clown would go somewhere they're not supposed to be and everybody will be like, uh, it's just a clown. You know? Nobody cares. But that's how they get to see things nobody sees. There's wisdom in it. Like, you have to be smart. Being loud. We're in so many colors and so many things that look so flashy and attract so much attention could turn out to be a real invisible cape. Yeah, you so to be smart to do that. And all those things could turn into advantage. It's not about smart, you just have to be passionate about it. With balance. Too passionate yeah. will have to ruin the party so much they want to make the party. And less passionate will be not caring about the party even if you are the one making the party. So. Everybody's asking for God, but if God was in their face every day, they wouldn't tolerate it. But the funny is, he's always there and looking at them, especially in the mornings when they wake up and look in the mirror. Do you know what you're doing? There is a huge difference between picking up the right bathtub and picking up the right person that will share it with you. <laughs> you can paint the bathroom, you can change it, you can decor it, you can put places and things in it. 
change all aspects about it, but 